Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. So I'm back with another Baldur's Gate 3 video and in today's video we're going to be exploring Blighted Village. In the previous video we went into Hag's Lair and we tried to save Maria but sadly we were unsuccessful. We also killed the Hag, um, found Koga's secret, explored the, the swamp area and we came through this way into the Blighted Village and we talked our way um, like through here without getting attacked. So, oh, <laughs> I'm just in this little zone right now exploring around and just seeing how it goes. Um, before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys for support because the channel now is fully, fully partnered with YouTube. Yay! Which is really exciting. Um, I'm really loving making content uh, for the channel so i'm really happy that you guys are enjoying it but yeah just just wanted to say that before we start but yeah let's let's get into the video okay what what is what is over here let's go into the shack there are some barrels around uh let's see there's a torch as you approach a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door then a low moan. Someone or something is having a bit of fun. Hello? Go away! Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight. Open the door anyway. Oh my god. Wait, I'm... <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Uh, <laughs> me? <laughs> Just looking around. Back away slowly. Attack the couple. Apologies, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh don't disturb a half ogre in the making. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Oh, this is a backstab, isn't it? So it's like 98% advantage advantage. Let's see something. <gasps> yeah, one of you guys told me that Astarian has a sneak attack that I have not been using at all. Let's like I want to see what what this does. Okay, let, let's check. Let's check. Whoa. Time to push my luck again. This lady is scaring me. I'm just going to go further away since since we are an archer. Also, why is this so loud? Is it just me? Let me do it like that. There we go. God. Um. Hmm. I don't want to use too many spells for no reason. Heart stopper. No mercy. Whoa! Chest trauma. Target loses an action. Damn, this is a really powerful spell. Not not the spell, the the attack, I guess. Um. We also gotta focus this guy. Oh my god, my birdie! No! Poor thing! You monster. Hmm. I don't have enough. Wait, what is this? Oh, I think I have some kind of an item that lets me like rush and then jump or something, right? And then I can punch them. Oh, <laughs> never mind. What if I do... Hmm. 
Wait, this is actually so sad. I feel so sad because like they didn't really, I mean, technically do anything. Oh my God, what is this? That's terrifying. They technically didn't do anything. With haste. They were just having fun <laughs> and we killed them. Oh, wait, what is this? Ooh. Let's have a look. Thank you. Some camp supplies. I say worth it. <laughs> Some water. What is this? The book naturally uh, falls to a dog-eared page in which unusual races he met in his travels. Half of strangers, the bird folk. First, the man had a parrot, body of a human, wings of a parrot, harpy? Real hard turns out she was one of the multi-party, because a uh, casual as hell they were. Hmm. Doo -doo. Always room for more. Let's go this way. I want to look around the village before we go into the village to see. Oh, hold on. It's in here. I'm just kind of checking these nooks and crannies to make sure that we don't miss any nice um, like collectibles or something. Treasures. Wait, I need to heal this birdie. So low. Oh, it's not even that much. What to do? Took so much damage. Beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. I love her faces so much. Uh, sleight of hand, strength, investigation. Let's go with this one because I have lots of bonuses for this. Yay! Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Ooh, that's a really pretty dagger. Astarian is gonna like that one. Roasted meat. Examine. I feel like this is human. Poorly roasted. Meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Oh, we can't actually take it with us? Okay. Time to press ahead. Oh, is this spoiled? Oh, it's rotten fish. Ugh. Anything here? When I see a tree and a shovel. Hmm. Loose boulder. Hold on, wait a minute. What is this? Too heavy to throw. Why is this loose? Waiting. I crave blood. Anything here? <laughs> no time to rest. Hello? Any shiny things? Okay, let's give this to Astarian. I will select him. 5-8, five, 5-8. Eight, five, eight. Oh, is this the exact same thing? It is! So if that's the case, then... 4-7. I'm gonna give this to my character. She gets the little daggers as well. Okay. What's over there? Ooh, mysterious hole. Oh, curious book. Oil lamp. Genie, hello? Maybe 
problem. Wait, is this like a light in your hands? Oh, it's like those um like those secret secret books <laughs> that have things inside. Eth Bank. What if I drink it? What's gonna happen? It's just alcohol. It's gonna pass soon, and then we can, I guess, like rub the lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Ray lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Why does it say use? Maybe I can give this to Gale. Hmm. Because Gale is a magician, right? A magician. Yeah, he does focuses, guys. Card tricks. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we can jump over the bridge, but I don't want to do that yet. No, there was something in here. No. Sad. Let's see. No treasure for me? Okay, let's see what's happening over here. We're gonna go back to the village and just explore this area. There was an underground something in the well over here. So, a tunnel? Some sort? Dungeon? I don't know. It's a sleepy boy. <laughs> I didn't do anything. What do you mean? Weapon blueprints. A master blacksmith's work. Simple ink or simple design. Hardly the pinnacle of metal craft. Ooh. Uh, drawings for different weapons, but uh, whether the age has. Filter the ink and wait. I hope I could. I, I wish I could make these like text bigger because, like, I cannot see anything. <laughs> it's so. It hurts my eyes. Uh, for whatever reason, it's pretty hard for me to read as it is. So when it's a tiny text, it's even it's even worse. Ugh. Hello, citizens. Uh, this region not small, as well as myself, because I feel growing concern and alarm from the strange uh, raiders in the parts of late. Coming through the forests, guys of patrol. Ooh, claiming they are guardians sent from El Tharal to protect the borders of the great and holy nation. El Turgard. Don't be fooled by shining armor or handsome mounts. Uh, never bend the knee to any ilt guard. And I never ask for any. Okay. Original uh, I settles along the banks. Like those small pleasure in telling those thugs just like that. Okay, so it's like a little warning that there are some scammers in here. Oh. Um, pupil surprises the teacher and the master weapons are almost complete. There's just one uh, complement left. Simpson says uh, designs are failure. Does he know? It can barely pass his uh, own belly. Right types of blueprints. So this is the the pupil's writings, I think. I such uh, prototypes of blueprints for now, but just you wait, Samson. Legend is fading. A new one will raise. Oh my god. Let's pick this up. Finish master work weapon. Gonna hide the completed ones. 
Gale Kenjin has become unstable. He needs a powerful magic item. Oh, he needs to like eat the item or something. We found the journal of Blacksmith Apprentice. It mentions blueprints to create master work weapons. They must be nearby. Well, the blueprints were over there. Sell you not. What if I give her the necklace? <laughs> Is she gonna get mad? <laughs> Does not seem like so. I thought she would kind of comment on it. What is this? Hmm, faded blueprints. So these are not the ones that I'm looking for? Yoink. Hmm. I see another one over here. I am not going in there. How delicious. What a race. Oops. Wait, who saw me? <gasps> no. Sad. Hmm. Okay, where should we go? Let's see. Well, I could go here and then try to like shoot them, but I don't know if I actually can reach them. No. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Can you feel death's cold grip? Be quick. <gasps> oh, that's where they are. You can knock out the flea for temporary hostile until your turn later. You might uh, resent you. I mean, I don't care. I can kill them all. Destroy. Can I reach them? Path is interrupted. Okay. What if I fire this at them? No, it's still interrupted. I think it's better if we just go outside. If that's the case. Because, you know, we can't really aim at them like this. Are there- oh, there are the stairs! Eh? It's a mage lady. I think it's actually pro probably a better idea if we go this way and then go up the stairs and then keep like shooting them. Yeah, they're basically doing the same thing as we are. Just trying to run over here. Time to press ahead. Ow! Oh my god. Wait, is she just gonna lay there? <laughs> Poor lady. We're just gonna stand there like lemon. Oh my god, stop! This should be illegal. Can I? No, I can't fly up there. Can I go here and then jump up? Is that a... Oh, I can. I did not plan this well enough. Mistakes were made. Yes, he Can he not jump this high? Sad. Never a dull moment. Ma'am. Have to keep going. Okay. Oh my god, how they can they even reach like this? I guess that's not a possibility. Mm-hmm. 
I wonder if all of them are alerted. They probably are. Really? <laughs> it's gonna go up. All right. This birdie is a giga chat, damn. I don't like these mages. I usually try to get rid of them first. Okay, I'll catch a break. Well, cut and run. Let's go. I guess that was not really a good idea then. Not now. Can I get this one? Where are they going? What? From there to here? Hey! I'm calling Peter. That's it. I am fury. I am death. No, oh this lady. <gasps> Wait, what if I do this? Well, that did something. Oop. Can I jump on top of it? No, I don't think that's possible. I will be honest with you guys, this entire fight has been not good. <gasps> no, they killed my burby. Oh my god, can you stop? Stop running around. Can't slow down. Ow. The dots macabre. Outmaneuver them. No, 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 not this way. I'm gonna have to heal after this. Like rest up and stuff. My path be true. Should mind my step. Spend 30 years. I will take the fire arrows. Aw, oh, poor skeleton. I really like this mysterious melody. It's like an ambience um, mixed with melody. Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. Um, can we parkour and get something? No, I think it's I think it's fine. La 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 la. Oh, moss covered key. Hmm. Here, I hope. Interesting. Anything up here? Hello. I don't think there's anything else in there. Oh well, I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna fast travel down. Let's let's explore this little area first. Like this one house at a time.
Can I not? Oh, there we go. I can crack that open. Yippee yay! Oh. Hello. This person behind this may so evolved into a little piece of drama. People really are. Robert makes a deal with. Uh, wouldn't interview. Hmm. Some drama. Lever. Oh, it's for the door. Okay. Trap disarm. I feel like I should be... Okay. I think I will go outside, probably, and explore that area first. What? Oh, I'm so curious. What is here? My character doesn't have a torch. I thought she did. If I find one, I will just give the other one to um, Shadow Heart. Wait, let's see if there is anything else in here. Oh my god, it's so cozy! There. Ooh, I did not even see any of these torches. Now it's a lot, it's a lot more welcoming in here. Hello. More torches. Just a little story. <laughs> oh, this is ripe here. I'm actually gonna take it. What if what if our friend can use it? Well step carefully. There's a trap. Oh, and it's the chest. Furnace. Well, what have we? She has a dungeon, like, investigation bonus, and she can't even see those things. Oh, hello. I don't think I need this that much anymore. To assign an item to the hotbar, drag the icon from the inventory to the desired location. If I fail to disarm this, is it gonna blow up? Nice. Ooh! Those are the blueprints! Uh, of three weapons. A great sword, sickle, and a dagger. Angle marks in exact measurements. Um, instructions printed carefully along the bottom of the page. Emphasis on the usual ingredients. Sassur bark. Sassur bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. Find 
Wait, what if I give it to different characters and they can read it? Will they succeed in nature? I guess not. Aw, oh, man. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I feel like sometimes she fails very... Just, like, the most simplest, like, survivor ranger checks, and it's kind of frustrating. Because her main thing is nature and exploration, survival, and then she fails. Like, investigation and nature? Unlucky roll. What is that? Metal. One is very hard. Me uh, melting point unknown. Color silver, red, and yellow dust. Source underdark. Gift from redacted. Forging unsuccessful will not melt or wrap at standard temperature. Or warp. Infernal iron. Hmm. Is this two-handed? Oh, it's a short sword. How much farther can I go? I guess we can destroy this, right? Because you can break walls. Like it's will be done. Do I have yes, I have the bonking weapon. Good. But before we do anything. Hold on. Whispering depths. So this was the area from the well, I assume. Ah. Yeah, I think so. What what is over here? Hello? Oh. So this can also be destroyed. Action, not reaction. What? Like, really true words to live by, honestly. I am such an emotional person. I... I, I do reaction instead of action sometimes. <laughs> so I've learned to chill a little sometimes. When something is happening, I try not to panic. I do fail, mostly, but I, I try, at least. Okay, um, I'm going to go down. Hmm, maybe on the box over there, just the way we came in. Because I don't want to go here just yet. We have to heal. And I also want to explore the area around first. Before we come in here. Even if we don't find a lot of anything in the other houses, I at least want to sleep before coming down here. Because it's it looks like a scary place. Why does this happen? It's like they die for the second time. Oh, that's the guy that we charmed then. The one that let us in. Okay, where's the Starion? Hello. Whoa, he waits for the opportunity because I clicked, but then Astarian like waited and he until he walked by. Light armor. Does he have a helmet? No. He can use this, but I will uh, remove the helmet. Warning to sword coat. A collection of gods fearing humans, elves, and dwarves. Corruption divine. Typhlings wearing their devilish heritage. Oh my god. It's some kind of like a uh, propaganda or something. Anti Typhling. What path lies before me? Missing poster. 
missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. <gasps> Ooh. Little kiddos. Small. Blech. Is anything here? Hmm. What's that? What? Oh my god, super secret thing? I don't know who that is, but it looks expensive. <laughs> Hold on. Mercenary? Ooh. Child's drawing. Oh, Happy uh, sunlit scene. That's so cute. Dear Flora, happy birthday. I know I finally finished the painting. Not just any painting. Does it look familiar? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It involved me getting down on one knee and you making me the happiest woman alive. I best go. I hear silence in the classroom next door. That is never a good sign. Happy birthday, my love. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> but it's so sad. Like, reading those things and then... Like, seeing the, the little village overrun. Missing children. Was this the kindergarten? Or something? Oh, this was school. Yeah, because it has uh, like a symbol of an owl on it. Oh. Wait, before we go in there, because I see some like uh, trolls or something. Or whatever those things are. Curse to put my hands on everything. What's in here? Oh, there are lots of things in here. Ba, 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 ba. Not bad. I've had better days and worse ones. I wonder what he's going to say. <laughs> I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Oh, I can ask him more questions. Okay. We can do that later. Blackets will be done. Blackets. Reject vanity, especially when gazing at your own reflection. Better stop gazing at myself before someone accuses me of vanity. Hey, it's fine. Watching me. Live, laugh, love is what I always say. Speak. I misclicked again. It happens all the time. Mushroom household prayer. Saloon. What's inside? A prayer to Saluna. We know what's going to happen, right? Come on, gotta be something here yeah. to ask. Can I talk to this lady? Hello. That's so weird. Hmm. Mr. Astarian? Your violence had Oopsie. <laughs> I guess it didn't work. Go Can I reach them? No. Let's just shoot them. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Breathe deep and move. 
the trap. There are two more, um... What are they called again? What do I keep forgetting? Goblins. I keep thinking of, like, trolls for some reason. I want to call them trolls, but they're goblins. Goblin. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Wait, can I not do it at the same time? Because I wanted to do like Astarion and Lysel together. I guess that's not a thing. switch to a bow Never a dull moment. oopsie i think we cleared the entire camp well there were those those guys over there too we need to get them and then this continues our oh no this um this is on the side this area continues our journey and this one there's the goblin camp which is the like the main quest of this area okay but, uh, ooh, collapsed borrow The rover, the misty mountains call Through dungeons deep Oh, hello. Udin Khach. Rules of three. You're filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medical plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver specifically. Uh, oh, deliver specially uh, requested plants to the seller. Keep away from prying eyes. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. I well, see. over there. Antidote. There are so many secrets in this tiny village. What the heck? Like there are three houses and <laughs> uh, like a giant cave somewhere. Like a secret passage in the other one. What's happening, guys? What are we? What are we doing here? Here's what I'm gonna do. Wits and blades always sharp. Let's move. <laughs> Herbs, bottle, potion of healing. Take it. Yoink. Over, then through. <laughs> Oh god, it's stuck in my head now. Help! Better not be cursed. <laughs> Better not be cursed. 
another candle. Yeah. Guys. Are we good? Wait, did everyone do the check? Oh, hello. <gasps> Is that what the perception check was for? I'm just going to take the paintings because they are probably expensive. Healer's Log. Patient, Samson, blacksmith, uh, complaints. To the good life since he uh, acquired that new apprentice, gave him currently told him to avoid red meat and ale. Swallowed bottle crock. Oh my god. Lodge with uh, splinter in hand. Apprentice. Patient Dida. Oh, this was the person who was like doing the blueprints and stuff because they are the apprentice. Minus bur uh, minor burns to the face and hands. Young apprentice usually uh transmitted that is applied, but I urge her to slow her uh pace. Oh, it's a lady! Oh my god! A queen? Live left love. Girl boss. This mother's be has helped me through a lot. Then my skills and my hide tears. Um someone must fill the rest of the page with repetitions of uh, why is it all always healing potions? Goddamn primitive village. I mean, they want healing potions. I guess this person was just tired of making healing potions. So this is the recipe. I'm just gonna sell it or something. There's a wooden chest. Hello? So there are lots of healing potions because the alchemist kept like making them. Garlic, belladonna. Belladonna girl. Yeah. All she ever wanted was the world. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Mm, okay. Potion of healing. More candles! Oh, it's burning. No, I... Okay, there we go. No, it's burning. Hello? Is this a torch? Oh. I wonder if having a torch, like, lighting things up, gives you more bonuses for, like, survival? Because they can see things better. Is that a thing? Oh, hello. It's curious. A lot of coffins. Moldering casket. Okay, hold on. God of wizards, all who's learning. Mistra. This bunch of gods. Oh. I'm scared, you guys. Okay. Surprise. Uh. <laughs> Uh oh. Whoa! No, stop! <gasps> it is the undead. You mother truckers. Can I stab him? Oh, I can. Your soul is in good hands. Well. Mm. 
Oh, but I cannot really hit him. No. I thought maybe we could like throw it down over there or something. Oh man, we are missing everything. Just, just go here. Come on, and then there we go. One, really? Feel their anguish. Still alive, so that's progress. Was someone there? No one stopped me yet. Dark journal. Dear diary. I pray, uh, I pay no service to the gods, but they bless this village, uh, apprentice to sim uh, to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden. My tattoos are hidden. My red robes lock the way and my lap secured. I have not heard the word thy since we arrived and only my apprentice knows um, me as tough. <laughs> This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home. Not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with um, words to follow. What did they do? What the? Hello? A same plan allows me to continue my research at night. My progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy. Are they necromancers? Well, I mean, not obviously. But uh, restoring life, that probably deludes me. The tongue, the tongue contains magic I need. It fights me at every step, This, uh, as does my apprentice. My familiar uh, has easy to secure bodies with raising suspicion. The missing children, is that... Is that what it is? Securing bodies? This will take time. I can say... Oh god. Search the cellar. What's in here? Agile guardian. I mean, the note was in here where this other body was. Is that the person? Like, who? Nut buster, poo scraper, shovels, friend find. Oh my god, a friend! I will take all of those. Poo scraper, ew. Wait, what does it say again? Uh, the abyss is not the worst place it has been. Charming little rock, the word nutbuster has been uh, scraped into it with a claw. <laughs> Damn. Traps, please. Anything up here? Hello? Maybe I should heal a little. Yeah, this is probably a better idea. Instead of just walking around with like very low health and stuff. Oh, there we go. Was it? Oh, it was Lizelle. No. There we go. She can have this one. I have this one, and then I oh, don't. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use a poo scraper. There we go. Oh, hello. Ornate mirror. That's pretty. Speak your name. 
I'm uh, Ara Silverleaf. Repeat the name from the book you read. My master was human, pure and true. You are not a Linka. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. <clears throat> yes, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna lie. Of <laughs> your master, open a little smashy to pieces. With luck, be damned. Lucky. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then, mirror master. A well guarded. What were they hiding down here? Pet. Hold on. Why was he inspired? Uh, trick the magic mirror in the cellar. Hmm. Ooh, lots of um, bones in here, I would say. Okay, what is happening? Some kind of an oil. Moonhaven logbook. Filled with strange alchemical sketches and uh, form... Uh, some are written uh, plainly, some are in ruins and scripts you barely recognize. These are guides to transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is um, concerned with reanimation, reanimating dead flesh. Pages of the observations, attracting travelers and people in the village. Uh, you turn to the final page. Merchant arrives in Moonhaven, departs uh, next day. Oh, okay. So they had like this little tavern in um, like herbal area going on, it seems. People would go in there and then they would maybe kidnap the, the people who would like come into the village, like merchants and stuff like that. So like stranger passing through, merchant, um, journeyman. Not Thayan? What the hell is Thayan? Is that a person? Not Thayan? Oh, there were people looking for this uh, this person, this like necromancer person. And they, I guess they were expecting for someone to find them. So maybe Thayan is either a nationality <laughs> or some kind of like, I, I guess Thaya is a city and then Thayan would be the guard or whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Featherfall. Oh, it's just a scroll. Thion. Research notes. Going to log body decomposed. Came back as a ghoul. Had to kill again. Hmm. Answers unhelpful. Speak with the dead. In living tissue, reanimation plus clone. Had to kill both ghouls. Magical curse. Mutant skills and reason book offers health. Dare I accept it? The book. They keep talking about the book and the tome. I'm gonna pick this up. Anything that is like related to any kind of a quest or something, I will pick that up. What is this? Antidote. It's so eerie to me that there is no music in here. Evil Eye. Personal means their power will be unique compared to a sister's hag. Hags, uh, night hags. 
the ability to hunt mortal stream, slowly devouring vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into Hex soul, soul bag. They are known for um, being petty, selfish. Remember, sea hags known for devouring their victim's whole. Sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They oh, they are beautiful. They are powerful. Speak uh, not word against them. Green hags. Ooh. Oh. Let me guess. The wound on my hand. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> it never quite heals. I didn't think she would start and talking. Sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I accidentally clicked on her. Why would Shah subject you to such things? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Hmm. How can he manage uh, living with such thing? Is there anything I can do? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Can I ask her anything else? Oh no! I depleted what I wanted to say by accident. I guess I should go like one by one and then ask her the final thing. Can we light this up? Weird. Don't s no no. Stay vigilant. There are traps here. Ew! What is that? How do I get it? <laughs> That is fucking disgusting. Okay, we broke it. Locked. Is there a key somewhere? Hold on. Let me just check. Maybe I missed. Magnifying glass, this thing. Okay, what's on the other side? Let's check. <gasps> it's a big bear. A young cave bear. Killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Oh. Poor thing. That's so brutal though. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. It's over here. Oh, and then this goes into the entrance area. Mm -hmm. We will have to do some lock picking on that door, so there is no key, it seems. Um. Oh! As I said that. <laughs> Rusted key! What does the key say? Oh, it's not really here. It's in the key section. I'm too lazy to open that. Okay, gamers, let's go. My 
tool will do the trick. No, why are you? Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Let's do it one by one. Up, 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 up. Or maybe it's not gonna. I thought there would be some kind of a pressure plate. It's not. Can you guys check this one? It's booted. So if we pick that up, it's going to trigger something. Let's do it like that. I will slowly disarm the pressure plate. And then I will pick this up. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. <laughs> True. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? You are so nice, Astarian. Thank you so much. Tuck the book in your pack. Let's just put it in the pockets sis, for now. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes. I don't know what that's for, so it's not too late. Ew. And it's oh my god, it's made from human flesh, isn't it? Oh. Who was that serial killer? He made furniture from, like, women. Very sad. <laughs> Damn. So freaking creepy. Hello. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. <laughs> Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Gentlemen. Besides, tastes like pork. <laughs> and what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. You speak with um, eloquence, unusual for your kind. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy, unless you bear the mark, of course. Hmm. Um, well, I do have guidance bonus. Food? Oh, they're just going to attack me. Damn. I'm not even going to talk about anything else. I should have went with the deception, I guess. Oh, well.
I don't like this. <laughs> I wanted to know if they would say something. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I will not know failure. What the ma'am? <laughs> Miss Ma'am? Damn. I feel like he's gonna need this one. Hmm. It's a backstab! Oh! Really? I thought he would attack Astarian instead. That's weird. Can I do this again? Oh, Asarian is gonna get hit as well. It's okay. Shoot. Too heavy. Ooh, poor guy. What do I feel like? Like, I never do good damage with um, Shadow Heart. I mean, she's a cleric, but still. Nothing important it feels like I always just miss things. of intelligence this is why he was talking in this like very highbrow intelligent way the enchantment has no effect if their intelligence score is higher without it it's been a long day well yeah to rest soon yeah we'll have to camp soon Dead Tifling. What's this? <laughs> well, something good here, I hope. This is actually very strong, damn. Intelligence check, uh, memory and mental power, provide spell cast for wizard. Wizard's proficiency. This is actually really nice because I have a disadvantage in intelligence. So this is insane. <laughs> damn, okay. It's definitely better than anything else um, that I have right now. That I see truth, I can uh, scarcely remember a time before, before he was like wearing the, yeah, that the human's thin flesh that bestowed this gift, but I've come to believe it was circlet she wore. There was a uh, crunch in that shoe. Goblin boss drawer. Raslin made a tenselin proposal. Spare any prey um, bearing the new god's band. Hmm. Trident book. 
This locket turns reveal into an insulated in stow tower. Strength and unity. Strength and unity. Oh, it's camp supplies. Let's go this way. Okay, let's see what's in this other house over here. If I can even go in. No, I don't think I can. Okay, so there is nothing else really left in here other than um, shabby wooden doors over there. So I'm just going to go to a camp. I guess we will talk to Gail right now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I accidentally clicked on, what is it called? Tilda, I think. This is actually nice. It's, it's quite useful. I can see the highlights of all of the characters a lot better. Boop. Okay, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, give Gail um, some kind of a little item that I'm not gonna be using myself. Oh. This back in here. This gives you guidance. Some kind of a spray. I can actually use this. Why not? I mean, it gives you a um, catnip. So. La, la, la. Bardic inspiration. I'm not going to be a bard or we don't really have a teammate that is a bard. So I'm just going to... Let him eat that one. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. And then we can talk to Astarian and stuff. Just to make sure that no one is missing. Good time for a chat. What's on your mind? Apart from finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. Of course, sir. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. What's up with I feel it? Work the magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again Ow. to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Don't to mention it, I'm glad I could help. The condition of yours is very expensive. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. <laughs> What's up with these, like, handsome mages with long hair who love cats? Enders from Dragon Age? Hello? It didn't really end well for him on my playthrough, but still. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a <laughs> carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. I like that they comment on these little events. Gale is positively voracious. Well... Let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. True. Hold on. I feel like I, I've been off-center this entire time. Hmm. This is better. I feel like this is better. <laughs> uh, those little like, camera things kind of 
you know, bother me a lot. Let's talk to her and then we can talk to Astarian. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Let's talk to Astarian now. Hello. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. True. How does someone... Oh, God. <laughs> how does someone become a vampire exactly? So there's a monster hunter after you. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some gnolls while stumbling around at night and that's the last we hear from him. Hmm. But why was he hunting you? What did you do? What if he appears? I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. Who is Cazador exactly? Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Oh, he's like the big boy vampire. Uh, you are sure Cazador's behind this? It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send a girl. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? So why send one after uh, you now? Oh, oh, Gur is the, the hunter? Is that what it is? Because, like, you can tell every Gur is responsible for what happened to you. Hmm. Yeah, he appeared just when he needed him. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians. Cazador's sending a message. Hmm. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. But why capture you? Why not just kill you? Don't worry, you're safe with me. Oh my god, Uvil! <laughs> safe! You think I'm safe? I wanted Do Uvil you know moment! A vampire lord possesses. He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. All right, what do you suggest? Uh, can he do that? Just walk into our camp? Are they, yeah, they're not invincible. You don't understand. You don't know him. Just trust me when I say we need to be careful. He'll send more lackeys. He has plenty of souls to command. We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us and kill any monster hunters on sight. He also doesn't know that Astarian can go out in the broad daylight. So if someone, if his lackeys were to find us, they wouldn't know that it's Astarian because he's walking around in the middle of the day. You know? Uh, tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. You know what's funny? I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. I seem to have a soft spot for X 
slave elves with white hair who are very sassy and broody who are just complaining all the time or not complaining but you know just whining i guess fenris now astarian what is happening <laughs> someone help please it's simple just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. That's so how you drink each other's blood? Hmm. <laughs> yes and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. No. Oh. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Oh, okay. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. Is Cazador like that, that bad? Damn. I understand the appeal. We have no other options. Uh, we have other options, better options. You're training one master for another. You are. Yeah, true. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. So, about you biting me? I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe later? <laughs> Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. Okay, but I'm not going to tell him to do it because we need all the strength we can get. For going into the cave! Okay, let's save first. She's so shiny. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? No. Anyone wants to talk? Oh, he, he wants to talk. <laughs> oh, he looks very sad. Are you okay? Pretty. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Is everything all right? Of course. Of course. I was just... practicing an incantation. There's more to it than that? Uh, figure I saw she means uh, something to you. She does. She's. She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her, to draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is, that embodies the weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. I didn't realize the depth of your uh, devotion. You sound like a smitten schoolboy. You are um, deluded, Gale. There's more to life than one goddess. It is a kind of love, after all. At the very least, the most deep-seated passion 
Magic is my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? So Weave is the magic in this world? It's like the magic state is called Weave, I guess. Then follow my lead. Yeah, let's let's go. What's ha what's happening? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sir? Ooh, it is pretty. Now you. Let me take this issue quickly and um, decisively. Arcana. Performance. Okay, I have a lot of bonuses in here. Nice. Critical. Something worked. You feel something strange. Like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. I actually did high <laughs> tech twisters. Repeat the word slowly but carefully. Performance. I have a bonus in the Arcana. I would say the last one, honestly. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Um, think of here and now. Nature, picture a place of utter peace away from all harm and mayhem of civilization. I have a lot of bonuses in the nature one. I'm gonna go with nature because it's elfy. This is nice. Oh, see, or is it sense? The presence is that the woman, weave, like the the woman who hovered <laughs> over Gale's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> oh, this is nice. You did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Woo! Magical. Effortless, you are a wonderful teacher. Yes. Oh, I know. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Hold on to the moment. It's a good night for intimacy. I mean, sure. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. Uh, picture kissing him. Picture a romantic walk. Picture a hearty meal. <laughs> uh, picture kicking him in the gut. Oh my god. Severed head on a... What the? It's a bad idea. Picture a hearty meal with Gale. Food and friendship flowing between you. <laughs> Yay. The weed. Operates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Aww, that was nice. Wait, can I ask him anything else? What's on your mind? 
<clears throat> I think I have magical artifact. Okay, no, not this one. I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. <clears throat> Somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform <clears throat> such a feat alone requires yeah, I much guess so. and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Um, what do you make of having the vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens, one way or the other. <laughs> Time for pets. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Hey. So fluffy. So fluffy and small. Okay, let's go to sleep. What is that sound? I'm going to call it a day here. And we're going to continue next time and go into the cave and explore and things like that. We made a really nice progress, I think. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It will help me out a lot. Check out all of my socials in the description, all of the things. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a great day. <gasps> Goodbye, everyone.